Hello my keto peeps, it's Samaya and welcome back to my channel I Don't Sugarcoat. Today I'm going to show you guys how I like to make my keto Hawaiian sweet rolls. So let's get started. <music> I want to tell you that this video is sponsored by Wholesome Provision. They are a company that specializes in keto friendly foods. Go on their website and check out their list of products, two of which are now staples in my keto kitchen. I'm going to be using one of them, which is their lupin flour in today's recipe. I'll leave the link for their website in the description of this video and they also sell their products on Amazon as well. Go ahead and check them out. Now let's jump into this video. We're gonna start off by using um, a bread machine today. And I'm only doing this really just because I've just started playing around with bread machines. Um, I've never really used them before. So this is one that I just kind of picked up off of someone and that I've been sort of toying around with. And one thing that I noticed that I liked about this is the way that it um, mixes the bread. So I'm going to use this today just to mix the bread, mostly because I don't feel like hauling out my big stand mixer. But you can mix this recipe in the stand mixer just, the, just like you would do with any of my other bread recipes. The only thing that I would suggest this time around is to just use um, the paddle attachment to do the whole kneading process. So I'm gonna begin by adding a cup of buttermilk. And what I mean by that is, is this is not actually buttermilk, obviously. This is cashew milk that I have added a tablespoon of some vinegar to, to make it mimic, um, to make it mimic buttermilk. And so I'll also leave the recipe for that. I mean, it's really simple. It's just the vinegar and whatever non dairy milk you want to use but you have to do it in a certain way so I'll leave the link to that recipe on my website in the description of this video as well and so I have this heated up to 130 degrees and now I'm just going to pour that into my bread pan if you're using the KitchenAid stand mixer pour that into the bowl next I'm going to add one tablespoon of quick rise yeast to this I'm going to add a teaspoon of honey and I'm just going to eyeball this Okay, now that I've added that, I'm going to go ahead and add in four tablespoons of melted butter. And now I'm going to add in two lightly beaten eggs and then one single egg yolk. Next, I'll be adding half a teaspoon of coconut extract. And to that, I'll be adding half a teaspoon of vanilla. And then to that, I'm going to be adding a fourth of a teaspoon of pineapple extract. And the reason why I'm adding this is because we can't use pineapple juice because it's way too sweet, has way too many carbs. And so this will mimic that flavor. And next we're gonna begin by adding our sweetener. I have here a fourth of a cup of some brown swerve. And then I'm gonna be adding a third of a cup of regular sweetener, granular sweetener and then we'll go in with our one and a quarter cup of vital wheat gluten. To this, I'm gonna add half a cup of some oat fiber. And then to that, we're gonna add two thirds cup of lupin flour. And finally, I have a bowl of some spices and other stuff that we're gonna be adding to this. So I have a teaspoon of some pink Himalayan salt. I have half a teaspoon of some xanthan gum. I have two teaspoons of some baking powder. I have a half a teaspoon of some baking soda. I have a fourth of a teaspoon. No, I have an eighth, sorry. I have an eighth of a teaspoon of ginger. And then I have one eighth of a teaspoon of ascorbic acid. Yes. All right, and we're just gonna sprinkle that right on top of this. Okay, and now I'm just gonna stick this in my bread machine here. 
Another reason why I'm using a bread machine is I get a lot of questions about bread machines and being able to use them for making my bread recipes. So I want to start incorporating some videos using a bread machine. While I won't be breaking, <laughs> while I won't be baking the bread in this, um, I wanted to show that it does do an excellent job of um, mixing the dough. So I'm going to be doing that. On here, I'm going to be doing just the white bread selection and I'm just going to hit the start button. All the rest of this, I'm not touching. It's on two loaves and it's on medium. I'm not touching any of that because I only want it to do the kneading function for me. Okay, so I'll be back when this is done and we'll move on to the next step of this recipe. All right, the bread is done. As I said, it went for about 30 to 40 minutes in the bread machine kneading and this is the perfect texture. This is exactly what I want it to be, what I want it to look like and it comes out so easily. And see, this is why I love using it because now I just have this pan that needs to be cleaned out and then I can put it away. Now what we want to do is we want to weigh this because we need to get this broken up into 12 equal parts. And I'll give you the weight in ounces and grams. Okay, in ounces, this dough is 30.3 ounces. In grams, it is 860. So that's 860 grams. And I'm just going to use my calculator here on my phone just to do the math really quick because I don't feel like doing it in my head. Okay, so we want each of these rolls to be roughly um, 71 to 72 grams. So I'm just gonna start cutting pieces off of this. And I will come back once I have this in 12 pieces. Now that they're into 12 equal pieces, um, most of them turned out to be 72 and there are a couple 70s. So that's pretty equal. So all you wanna do now is you wanna take it and this dough is very easy to move and maneuver and you just wanna get it rolled into a nice ball and you're gonna wanna make sure that the that when you seal, seal I mean, when you seal the roll, you want that to be on the bottom and you're gonna set it in your pan, in a pan that you've greased already with some oil. And I just used some um, avocado oil. And this right here, this is perfect. A nice, perfect ball. And I'm just gonna set that into the pan like so. And so you just wanna keep going and just pull it out, stretch it, and then kind of tuck and push everything toward the bottom, closing up that opening. And then you just wanna keep rolling it until it's nice and perfect. And I'll show you, see, you wanna get it as closed up as possible. And so you flip it over, you look at it, you close up any gaps, any holes that you see. And you're gonna keep working that until your seams are pretty closed and it doesn't look like it's gonna open and you can just set it right on the bottom. And so now I'm gonna finish all of these and then I'll come back and I'll tell you what we're gonna do next. My rolls are all done. I've put them all into nice, neat little balls and this is really all you have to do for now. You're just gonna take a piece of saran wrap that is that has been sprayed with some oil and you're just gonna kinda lay it lightly over it you don't want it to be on there too tight. You wanna give it some room for when it rises. Okay. And now we want these to rise to double their size. So I want mine to be just, just touching the paper, just coming up to the top of where my pan is. I'm gonna put this in my stove and let this rise and then I'll come back I'll show you what they look like so you can see exactly what they should look like when they have risen to just the right size. I'll see you back here in a bit. It's been about 55 minutes 
and that's about how long it took my bread to rise in the oven this time around um, they look great they have doubled in size they are touching so this is exactly what you want them to look like and now what we want to do is we want to go ahead and brush them with an egg wash now if you don't want to do yours with an egg wash you don't have to you can just let them bake and then you can um you can spray them with some butter at the end or however you want to do it so i'm going to go ahead and brush mine with this egg wash Now I've got that done and they look great. They look fabulous. And I'm gonna put these in the oven at 350 degrees for 22 to 25 minutes. Um, you're just gonna have to check for doneness on your own with the, uh, a toothpick to see if it comes out clean. So that's what I would suggest. So I'm gonna go ahead and pop mine in the oven and I will see you back here when these are done. And then we will take one of these babies out and you'll get to see what they look like. I left the bread in the oven for 25 minutes total and they look and smell amazing. Okay. And that is one piece. Oh my gosh. Do you see that? I mean, I might have to have a, just a tiny bite. I don't think it'll throw off my numbers that much. If I have the tiniest bite of this, look at that. It's very hot. It just came out. So, but look at that texture. It is amazing texture, you guys. I hope you can see that. It is so soft and fluffy. But I can already tell you, these are fantastic. I've had them. They're great. You're going to love them. This is going to be your go to for a roll. And I will also show you how to make just a regular dinner roll. I'll do that in another video, but I wanted to start off with a sweet Hawaiian <laughs> with a sweet Hawaiian roll just because, you know, those are one of my favorites, but I will definitely show you how to make just a plain dinner roll. That right there is going to be all for uh, this recipe. Um, I do want to give a quick shout out to one of my followers. Okay. Her name is Lori Guys. I hope I'm saying your name right. If I'm wrong, I apologize. Um, take a look at her bread. She made my bread recipe and it looks great, you guys. It looks perfect. She did such an amazing job. Uh, you just, it doesn't get any better than that. So I just really wanted to be able to share this photo with you guys. And as I said before, if you want your photo featured in one of my videos, please continue to send me your um, pictures. And if you want me to showcase it, you can even request, you know, if I can be able to squeeze it in, if I haven't already agreed to do um, other people's photos. You guys are gonna love these. I think you're gonna love them. I love them. I hope you love them. Um, let me know when you make them, what you think of them. So that's gonna be it. Um, if you like this video, go ahead and give me a big thumbs up. If you want to see more videos like this, don't forget to click that subscribe button and don't forget to ding the little bell so you can get notifications every time I upload a new video. And until next time, you guys, bye.